In the present video, I will be solving a problem related to the sampling distribution for the proportion. The problem says a large airport records the percentage of airline flights that land no later than 50 minutes after a scheduled arrival. The average of this percentage for 12 months last year was 69.7%. The accompanying data contains the sample data indicating the number of minutes after scheduled arrival time. Note that the negative entry indicates the minutes earlier than the scheduled arrival time that the aircraft arrived. So here is the data. And we have two questions. The first question is calculate the proportion of sample airline flights that landed within 15 minutes of a scheduled arrival. And when they say within 15 minutes, could be earlier or later, so 15 minutes before or 15 minutes after the scheduled arrival. And there is a second question B, calculate the probability that a sampled proportion of on-time flights would be within plus or minus 0.04 of a population proportion equal to 0.697. Let's solve the first of these questions. Calculate the proportion of sampled airline flights that landed within 15 minutes of a scheduled arrival. We need to know what is the sample size. We need to count how many data we have here. Let's count them. There are 20 in each of these columns. It will be 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 125. So N equals 125. So to answer question A, we have that N equals 125. Now, from these times, I need to check what of them are within 15 minutes of the arrival time. So when I say here, for example, number 20, it means that this fly arrived 20 minutes late. When I see here negative T, it says that this fly arrived 10 minutes early. This 20 is not within 15 minutes, but this negative 10 is within 15 minutes, but this negative 17 is not within 15 minutes. So it could be until 15 minutes late or until 15 minutes earlier. When we have a sample proportion, the sample proportion, remember, will be P bar equal X divided by N. And X will be the number of items that have the attributes, the number of flights that arrive within 15 minutes of time. So let's count how many of them. For example, we have this 7, 12, 6, 6, this negative 10 also. And let's shade the cells when the fly arrived within 15 minutes. I shade with light blue the fly that arrived within 15 minutes. No later than 15 minutes, no earlier than 15 minutes. For example, this negative 29 is not there. This is earlier, 20 minutes earlier. Yeah? This 28 is not shaded because this 28 is 20 minutes late. And now I need to count how many of them. You can count by yourself. But there are 74 flights that arrive within 15 minutes. We have that P bar equals 74 divided by 125. There is a way to count this in Excel. So if you have these numbers in Excel, if you have all these numbers between the cells A2, and A126, uh, there are 125 data. And you want to count how many of them arrive within 15 minutes, you can use the function in a cell count if. Let's type it here. Count if. So count if count the data that follow a special criterion. For example, here, the criteria is that the time cannot be more than 15 or that the time cannot be lower than negative 15. So we type in whatever cell of Excel count it and then we select all the data. And because the data are between A2 and A126, you can type A22, A126. 
and coma. And then you need to say the criteria. So the criteria is that the time cannot be more than 15. So it needs to be less or equal than 15. This criteria needs to be in quotation. And then comma, if there is another criteria. The other criteria is that these cells, this data in these cells, need to be more or equal than negative 15. Yeah? For each criteria, you need to type the range. So again, you need to type the range for the second criteria. And the range is, again, A2 from A126. And the second criteria is more or equal than negative 15. So after a comma, put the second criteria in quotation again. Greater or equal than negative 15. And press Enter. If you press Enter, it shall tell you how many data. So you can use this function if you have all the data in Excel spreadsheet. We have 125 data, and we want to count how many of these data follow special criteria. And the criteria is that the data will be lower or equal than 15 minutes, and at the same time will be greater or equal than negative 15 minutes. So in whatever cell of Excel, let's choose this cell B2. You can type equal count if. If you type count, you can see that there is one option that is count if. And this count if, if you have several criteria. And here we have two criteria. The data need to be lower or equal than 15, greater or equal than negative 15. So I just choose this function, count if. And then they are asking me, okay, what is the range? I'm going to select the range between A2 and, and let's see, until A126. This is the last data. Okay, we have already selected the, the data. And then comma and type the criteria. Put the criteria in quotations, greater or equal than negative 15. This is one criteria. And then there is another criteria. The other criteria could be in another range. Yeah? But in this case, will be the same range, A2, until A126, and comma. And then the second criteria. The second criteria will be that the data need to be lower or equal than 15. So let's type it here. So in quotation, 15. Close quotation, and cross bracket, because th this is the last criteria, and just press Enter. And it appears how many data follow these two criteria. Okay, so we have that the sample proportion is 74 divided by 125, and we obtain 0 0.592. And this answers the first question. So we have computed the proportion of sampled airline flights that landed within 15 minutes of the of a scheduled time. For the second question, calculate the probability that the sample proportion of on-time flights would be within plus or minus 0 0.04 of, of a population proportion equal to 0 0.697. And in this second problem is when we are going to use the features of the sampling distribution for the proportion. So to answer this, we have this information, A in equal 125. And the question is, what is the probability that a sample proportion is more or equal than the population proportion minus 0 0.04 and less than the population proportion plus 0 0.04? The only that we need to know is what is P. In this problem, P is 0 0.697. So actually the question is what is the probability that the sample proportion will be between 0 0.697 minus 0 0.04 and 0 0.697 plus 0 0.04. So the only thing that we need to do is just make this operation and notice that actually the question is what is the probability that the sample proportion will be between 0 0.657 and 0 0.737. And we know that the sample proportion follows the normal distribution. And for that reason, we can compute the Z value equal P bar minus P. So the sample proportion minus the population proportion divided by the standard error of the sample proportion. And this is the formula of the standard error of the sample proportion, remember. Okay, so the only thing that we need to do is just 
make a substitution of the values. For example, what happens if the p-bar is 0 0.657? The population proportion is 0 0.697. This is given. Just making a substitution 0 0.657 minus 0 0.697. Obviously, this is the negative 0 0.04 that we have at the beginning. This is the, the population proportion. This number is 1 minus the population proportion. Because the, po the population proportion is 0 0.697, 1 minus the population proportion is 0 0.303, divided by n, that is 125. You can do this in your calculator, and the answer is negative 0 0.97 and compute the z value when the value of the sample proportion is 0 0.737. If we do that, the answer is the same number, but now positive, 0 0.97. The original question, what is the probability that the sample proportion will be between 0 0.657 and 0 0.737 is equivalent to the probability that the z value will be between negative 0 0.97 and 0 0.97. Let's solve this using Excel again. So in Excel will be equal normal standard distribution of the largest of the values minus the normal standard distribution of the smallest of the value. And just do this, press enter, and the answer is 0 0.6680. That answer the second question. And with that, I finished my explanation of this problem. Thank you.